We are in the Western Canadian province of Alberta in the great city of Calgary, a popular destination for winter sports as you see the Saddle Dome in the southeast end of downtown Calgary. We then travel west to beautiful Olympic Park, making our way into the Wind Sport Arena. This year's home of the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship 2021. In this session number 20, you will see China versus Japan in our feature game. For Team China, Xu Jingtao is the lead. Wang Xiyu is the second. Tian Zhifeng as the third. And Zhou Xiang as the skip. They will be taking on Team Japan. Shinya Abe is the lead. Yasumasa Tanita, second. Tetsuro Shimizu, third. And Yuta Matsumura is the skip. And here are the standings heading into this session. RCF and Sweden already qualifying for the playoffs, nine and two. Scotland, eight and three. United States, seven and three, a game behind. Canada and Norway at that border, seven and four. Don't really want to lose another one. Switzerland at the very bottom of the border at six and five, hoping to bring someone back. And then you have Italy, Japan, and Germany. Denmark, six and seven losses and China, Korea, Netherlands, two and nine. And all the other matchups, as you see in our feature, China versus Japan. On sheet C, Scotland at eight and three will be taking on RCF at nine and two. And then on sheet D, Denmark three and seven, playing the United States seven and three. My name is Melissa Saligo, and I am joined here in the booth by an Olympian, Olympic silver medalist Mike Harris. Hello, Olympian. Yes. Hello, nice Olympian. To be I was going to say fellow. <laughs> <laughs> nice to be here with you, Melissa, and looking forward to this matchup. This is a, a must win if, you're, if we looked at the standings there. Mathematically, I think Japan still has a chance if they can get through at seven and six and need a little, need a little bit of help, but uh, winning today would certainly keep them. Uh, keep their hopes alive. And we look at the last stone draw there, Mike, very, very close. China just edging out Japan, not by much. So they will have hammer here in the first end. And uh, China will have good memories of Shide. Uh, had a very good battle against Canada over there and uh, almost knocked them off. It was, and team Japan played on Shide last night, so uh, Nice to be back on the same sheet of ice twice in a row. So you mentioned that Team Japan still has that outside chance of making the playoffs. Very important game for them, and they're on a four-game winning streak right now. They had an excellent game this morning against Korea. A little up and down, but really made some big shots when they needed to. And that's kind of been the story for, I think, for many teams this week. It's just a question of which team shows up <laughs> you know a lot of inconsistency out there but uh, that's to be expected I think everyone came into this championship not having played many games at all this season due to the uh, COVID pandemic and um, we've, we've definitely seen some a few surprises and then uh, some spectacular performances as well so we'll see uh, see what happens today So as mentioned, China will have the hammer here in the first end. This game being played on sheet A. Shinya Abe is going to start us off when given the okay. Little countdown on the back there. You see five seconds to go and then uh, we'll be off. Yeah, yeah. Have everything timed down to the second here at the uh, Men's yeah. World Curling Championship. <laughs> Definitely do. 
One of the things we saw with Japan earlier, I had the ability to do their game earlier, they kept throwing that center guard almost every time that they didn't have hammer to try and put early pressure on their opposition. Yes, and they, they do like rocks and play. And uh, China will counter here. Trying to bring one in the rings. And for China today, maybe, maybe not as much pressure on them in this game. No, and certainly uh, one of the goals for all the teams here is to finish in the top six, not just to make the playoffs, but to qualify for the Olympics in Beijing in about 10 months. And as host country, this team will already be there. So <laughs> they're really trying to use this competition as uh, some prep for those Olympic Games. They're you know, everything there is uh, building gradually towards next February. So in saying that, Mike, we're, you know, you look at a Team China, not not a great week, but they've made a lot of good shots, had some really close games. And so as you say, they're, they're taking everything they can out of this, all the learnings they can, to put it towards their training and development towards the Olympics. Correct. You know, and I've... I did coach this team for you know, about uh, a little over a year um, until about a year and a half ago. And so I know this uh, the skip in the lead in particular and the third, or excuse me, the second, um, I worked with extensively. So Shu here at uh, lead is just a phenomenal sweeper, good judge of weight. Um, what they lack is kind of that battle hardened. <laughs> Experience playing the top teams often Whoa. enough, and you know this year off has actually really hurt them. I would say, you know, they they okay. planned on traveling a lot, like many of the teams have. But uh, I think in particular it would have hurt a team okay. like like this, where they don't have uh, many teams to play against in their home country. Right. So they throw in all they throw a lot of rocks, and probably more than anyone. But uh, sometimes that's not all you need. No, a big difference, right, between competing against teams, especially teams better than you all the time versus just throwing rocks every day. Correct, and, uh, and I know in Japan there's quite a, quite a number of good teams, so uh, Matsumura definitely would have a, a number of competitive uh, games back in his uh, home country in Japan. And they've, uh, they've been, as you said, the last couple of days they've been just they played very well. Nice to see. Fun team to watch, too. I said they do like lots of rocks and play. Very fun team to watch. So we saw a team trying to hit and roll out on that one that was sitting back four. So gave Japan the opportunity to come fully buried Hardy. behind yeah. their center guard. So Hardy it looks like Hardy. Wang Shi oh, oh. trying to play the oh. run through, maybe? Hey. Hey. Was watching the bracket. There seemed to be a lot more movement out there today as we look at the rules. Rules of play six ends minimum for each team to play, 38 minutes of thinking time, and each team getting a one 60 second timeout. Yeah, we were noticing that too. Uh, if any shots were missed early in earlier draw this morning, it was on the over curl for sure. Perfect guard. Very nice. We alluded, alluded to the fact that Japan was on a bit of a roll. I, I interviewed um, Shinya Abe uh, in the post game after their win this morning. And I asked him, I said, you know, what has Coach Bob done for you guys? And he said, it's been unbelievable what he's brought to the table. And halfway through the week when they were struggling in the first half of the week, they had a meeting and they seem to have changed things around since then. And they attribute that to, to Bob. Yeah, Bob's an excellent coach. has worked with many different countries over the years. And uh, obviously teams here also in Canada. There's Coach Bob. I've... Uh, Bob and I have known each other 40 plus years. We started junior curling together, a little two-sheeter club in Montreal. So it's nice to see him year after year at different events. Tetsuro Shimizu throwing third stone for Team Japan. Yesterday, uh, Shimizu had a 100% game in uh, the afternoon draw. 
and uh, degree of difficulty was very high, so it was it was an impressive performance. This is going to overcurl, though. <laughs> he seems surprised. <laughs> okay, you can just see the slight overcurl. You have to get by the guard by, you know, at least a foot, if not more, and you can it'll still finish right behind those guards. Okay. Was it, are they just playing the hit and roll, Mike, or are they? I think they they indicated going to the outside, try to group the stones. Say so first end near the center line. Just gotta be careful. The rock will curl. Just like that. Oh. That was unfortunate to not hit the wide one. Very. Chance now for. Japan to put some real pressure on. Mm. And do not have last rock here. Okay. And when you look at this shot right now, there's obviously, you can come in at it both ways. Is there an advantage to come in like from this side versus the other? Well, I think, yes, you can, if it comes up a little light, you can guard by mistake. I think it's the biggest, <laughs> the biggest benefit. <laughs> Playing this turn. The challenge in the first end is that they've been they've thrown all their rocks on the other side of the sheet, so, you know, do you take the one you know, or do you take the one with the... Uh, the added benefit uh, that the intern was the right call. And that was well done. Okay. Very nice. So Team Japan currently line three. Again, China with the hammer here in the first end. Tianji Feng with his second stone. What a great shot. Almost got another inch or two roll underneath. Very close. Very good shot. key for China here in this first end is to make sure they keep that forefoot open. Looking like they're obviously going to have to score now. We'll see if uh, Skip Zhou Xiang changes gears here, maybe plays a draw on his first. But, uh, Matsumura got a good chance here. Nose hit would be great. to Matsumura, 31-year-old skip from Japan. Looks like a nice weight choice here for this hit and stick. They've done a very good job all week of throwing that uh, quiet board weight hit. Reading the ice well using the sweepers. So for Team China, you'd mentioned, Mike, that the, they had a possibility maybe on this first skip stone to go around, but they've elected to play the hit. Are they just playing the hit and stick right there? It looks like they're going to roll over to where the broom is. Um, again, if they, as long as they hit and stay for shot stone, it'll be difficult for Matsumura to get one into the forefoot area on their last. So I think they're like simplify their next call. So Xiang with his first stone here. Hello, okay. Uh, Papa. Lee. Lee. Papa. Whoa. Whoa. Little okay. Yeah. Lee. Yes. Whoa. Little okay. Yes. Hard. Hard. Steer. Hard. 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 Whoa. 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 No. 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 Okay. That's a okay. very good shot. Oh. No hit here. Okay. Japan will lie three, but China will only have to hit 
half of the eight foot in order to score. And they had a good draw to the button total, so I'm sure they'll have a good idea what draw weight is. That's a great point, as you obviously they have hammer for a reason. They made two great draws to the button. They'll be forced to go to the outturn side where uh, Japan threw most of their draws, so should have an idea of the ice to take. Can't imagine they'll hit. I've been wrong before, though, was, uh, <laughs> often <laughs> up here. You never know. That's not what you said <laughs> earlier. You said you're never <laughs> wrong. <laughs> well, we don't miss shots from up here, but <laughs> occasionally we call them incorrectly. <laughs> Final stone here for Team Japan. Matsumira with his last shot here, looking for the hit and stick. Yeah, mission accomplished for Team Japan here in the first end. They're going to force China to score one. Obviously, they're, they're hoping to steal. Yes, it looks <laughs> with this draw, it's going to be three for Japan or one for China. There's not much in between there, but uh, expect Zo to be close here. So it's so easy, yeah. Okay. We'll keep an eye on the sweepers as soon as they let this go. We'll give us, they'll give us an idea if he's close or not. When you're throwing these draws, the way the ice is running right now with the, the rocks that haven't been touched up, you just have to be very careful. You have to throw them very positive. Cleaning a little extra rotation of anything. And make sure you extend towards the broom. Sweepers on it. That's probably a good sign. Just see it Even with that rotation, still curled a ton. But no mistake there. One on the board for Team China. Right. One nothing after one. Okay. Just getting ready for end two of this session 20. Team China with an early 1-0 lead, but not without some pressure. Had a draw against three Japanese stones that were in the rings. Yeah, I never, I never liked doing that in the first hand. No. <laughs> but the pregame practice certainly makes that shot a lot easier. Uh, that was uh, eight good shots from Japan, really. They played a perfect first end. China starts with a, a center guard, a nice tight center guard. Combating the center guard with a corner guard of their own, so Japan, they're going to mix it up here in end number two. And just over on sheet C, it's Scotland taking on RCF, and it looks like Scotland might line two. Yeah, RCF has the hammer here in the opening end. This is a very important game. RCF at the top of the standings uh, with two losses, Scotland with three, so 
if Scotland could win this one, they could actually get themselves into a position where they'd be in the top two and end of the round robin and uh, get a bye into the semifinals. So, huge game for Scotland. Well, huge game for both teams, really, but RCF's already in the playoffs, so more, you could argue more important for Scotland. So RCF puts one on the board after one end of play. Beautiful come around there from China. Seeing a little more movement today again than we saw yesterday even. I know they touched up the rocks a couple of nights ago, but uh, ice makers may have adjusted their scrape as well today to provide even more curl. Just becomes really important when the ice is like this. You have to match the line and the weight that you throw perfectly. Otherwise, you could look foolish <laughs> with, the, with some misses. And that's one of the things that I noticed earlier as well, Mike, that's such a good point, is when you're close, there's really not a, there's really not much point in lifting your brooms because it, it's, it's like as soon as you lift that broom, it just takes the curl even more so. So if you're close, you, you might want to keep a broom down on it. Yeah, definitely the miss over the last uh, 48 hours has been rocks over curling as we look at Soren Gran, who's the coach of the men's program in China. Um, Many people wouldn't know Pea Lindholm from Sweden. He oversees the entire high performance program in China. And Soren runs the men's group. So, uh, really experienced coach. Um, he's also from Sweden originally, but worked with Team Scotland leading when they went uh, and won their silver medal in 2014. He was working with David Murdoch and Tom Brewster's team. Soren's been an international coach for yeah, 15, 20 years, different countries. Japan looks like they're lying one right now, second and third belong to China. And as you said, Mike, from the very beginning, Japan likes to have rocks in play here. They're trying to play the corner freeze. Okay. We've already seen Bob. We'll give him, we'll give him double <laughs> air time here. Bob Yersel and... It's in Kelowna these days, Kelowna, British Columbia. Uh, and Bob was working with uh, Korea in Pyeongchang. 2018 Olympics, and he's been with this team for three years. Should take this time to wish Bobby's dad well. I know he's uh, battling some health issues right now, and Canadian champion, 1977 Briar winner. Uh, and I know uh, many of us in the curling world are thinking of him. Uh, Wish him well. <laughs> Having worked with uh, this team, they try to be very precise sometimes. Sometimes the easy call is the one <laughs> that they miss. And, yeah, they're trying to hitting and rolling inside on that yellow zone at the top 12. You only have an inch of air on that side. You know, and obviously, the miss is disastrous. So I like this call better. <laughs> this is where, uh, I guess I was saying, the uh, lack of games against the top teams really may affect them more than it would most. I, I know they're hopeful that they can get uh, some high-end co high competition in before next February. I mean, we all hope to be we out on know, the yeah. ice and, uh, and and competing. Exactly. But uh, they, they, they could really use it. Okay. Pretty good angle there, actually. We'll see if uh, Matsumura now tries to move that yellow one into the rings on the right. So watching that game earlier today, or doing the game earlier today, Japan versus Korea. 
I was with Luke and we were listening to the teams and they were spending a lot of time in the first half of the game having conversations and we were concerned based on the time that was left after the fifth end. And you can see China also doing the same thing here. A lot of conversation. And, and Japan too. Like we saw we saw earlier in the week they were down to I think a minute, yes. 15 <laughs> seconds to play the last end. So uh, that's something that uh, coaches would work on with teams. Hey, let's try to make our decisions quickly early in the game so that we have time to think in the last couple of ends. So is Japan trying to come around everything here or just set, set up the angle? Just another freeze. Pretty good. That, that, that lined up very nicely for them. It's like T-line weight, just try to change the angles a little. Maybe tap that red one kind of near the center line back a little, is that right? Yeah, hit the yellow on the nose and try to unlock those two reds so that if if Japan decides to throw some weight on their next one. One of, the, one, one of the Chinese red zones would disappear. Didn't move it far enough. I think there's a chance now for Japan to throw some speed at these and we'll see where the dust settles. Get that right in the pocket, you could see maybe two or three of those reds disappear. Call T line weight. It was pretty darn close. Just weight. didn't quite weight. curl it up. good, yeah. yeah. So throw some speed here and right hit it right between the uh, the red and yellow. Maybe try to make contact with the yellow first. So we'll have some speeds. <laughs> Very close. What Very a shot. Fantastic. Actually lost a couple of yellows as well, but uh, double opportunity here now for China. They need, they do need to stay. That uh, back red. We'll have another look at this. Let's count the count the rocks flying. This is four at least. So, <laughs> yeah, that back yellow also goes, which was unfortunate for Japan. So if that curls, maybe another half an inch or so. Who knows? Might might have kept that yellow in play. But more importantly, China looking for the double now on those two yellow stones, top eight. It's not that hard of a double, but it's hard to stay and make the double. So there's the double, which wasn't that difficult, but uh, shooter goes flying out of play. Red stone is buried. It's actually well buried, so Japan's not going to tap it out. They'll play the draw. There was a lot of rocks in play a second ago. <laughs> was there ever? <laughs> no things change here in a couple of rocks. So Tetsuro Shimizu looking for the come around, just threw a high hard one on his first one and now being asked to throw a nice soft draw. Really important for obviously these athletes to be able to make that adjustment from a heavy hit to a draw and Makes no mistake. Perfect. Really good. Well, looking at the double here, good in theory, a little <laughs> dangerous. There is a hit this a little on the left of where the broom is, there is definitely a double jam possibility. And of course, you rub the guard, you could bring three into play as well. So not a lot of margin for error here on this one. Is this what you would call, Mike, or? I don't hate the call. <laughs> it's just it's just a hard shot. You could play the freeze with the other she option. Oh, that's oh. never easy either, never oh. a gimme, so. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. 
close. Four. Okay. Just misses the double, so it will be a opportunity here now for Japan. Do you, do you like to come around again? Well, look where those reds lined up. The, the good news for China is that that red rolled directly behind the tight center guard, and that is, <laughs> as raises go, that's pretty unmissable. <laughs> that's a red red combination so japan's got to be careful where they place their draw to lie to they could go open to the edge of the forefoot maybe or back there just heading over to sheet d denmark taking on in the united states it looks like the U, uh, sorry, uh, Denmark may be line uh, one. Not sure yeah, if they're line two, they are. are they, Mike? I think they're line two. John's gonna, it looks like he's throwing some weight at this, trying to play the uh, the tick and have the shooter go directly under that stone at the back of the forefoot. Here's a good look at it. Does It does look like Denmark line two. This is the last US stone here in the second end. There's no easy shot for one, so John actually is gonna throw some weight here. If he can, if he can just tick that one that was just thrown, they could get two out of this. John's been on fire the last couple of draws. You can see all of an inch maybe of that shot stone. He's really close here. Just flies Just by. Just misses it. That was the, uh, the the nice thing for John, the low risk part of that was if he did miss it, he does knock out second stone. So big steal of one. Denmark uh, playing spoiler at this point. They uh, had a big win knocking off Switzerland yesterday. So they're uh, playing for pride and causing grief <laughs> <laughs> to the leaders. So back to our feature game here, Matsumura, first skip stone of the second end. I think he's trying to get around everything here, Mike. He's gonna try to freeze to that back. Stone understanding that that red-red combination is, is unmissable. Trying not to leave some sort of double here. I think if I was China, I would just play the uh, the run back on the front and uh, could throw it quietly though, and maybe save your shooter and block the draw for two. That might be a, a decent option for Zo. Doesn't look like there's a raised double available. Don't think. And those stones are very close together. You can get them to drag one way or the other, or if they're a little further apart, you can get some angle to to make. Uh, the back stone go a different direction. These are about six or eight inches apart and almost always go directly straight back. When they're about that distance apart, it's really hard to get any type of uh, movement other than on that straight line. Closer together, the drag effect takes it you know, in play, like I said, and uh, longer, it's more of a, an angular effect. So just a quick conversation there by the team. They want to know exactly where they want to hit this top stone. As Mike said, both of these stones very close together. More or less going to act like one. Oh yeah, I think the best China could do would be to hit and roll maybe six inches one way or the other and have, you know, try to have a little bit of a blocking of the forefoot. But uh, Matsumura should have a shot for two here. Just wondering if he noses that, Mike. Is there, is there any chance for the double to double the yellows out? It's hard to say. We're about we'll to find see. out. This one's really curling. Oh, it did, did touch the back one. Didn't quite get it out, but uh, almost. Very close. It, uh, it's going to force Japan into a, a shot, a difficult shot for two. Let's have a look at that. They did get a bit of action on the top stone. Very nice. Yeah, if they hit that any thicker, they probably have a, both of them probably go. Wow. Good shot. Great shot. Okay. You see the angle now on those reds. You have to hit it quite a bit on the outside as we're looking at it to make contact with the back stone. So to save your shooter is tricky. Throw it a little bit quieter. And if it comes up to nose, you still get one. So tough shot for two. Easy shot for one here for Japan. So last stone, Team Japan, second end. 
trailing oh, one nothing right now please. to Team China. Yes. Whoa. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Trying to make both of these whoa. red whoa. stones go away. And hit it, tried to take on the double, hit it too thin, and that's a big steal for China here in end number two. So it is now 2 nothing China over Japan after two ends of play. Back, you are watching live coverage of the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship 2021. We are at the Wind Sport Arena at Canada Olympic Park. My name is Melissa Saligo. I'm joined here by Olympic silver medalist Mike Harris. Interesting, Mike, it looked like Japan took on the double from the get-go. They did, yeah. They uh, definitely uh, yeah, took a bit of a risk, but again, you know, you've, you've coached teams. It's managing the weight properly and, and throwing, saying, okay, yes, we're trying for the double, but if it happens to overcurl, that's okay. And get your one, and, you know, they kind of erred on the wrong side. They're missing on, you know, missing it on the pro side, missing it on the amateur side. We've talked talk about that a lot with come arounds and whether you'd wreck on the guard or whether you'd rather, you know, miss it wide sort of thing. So same applies to that shot. So certainly, I'm sure... Bobby, uh, Coach Bob Ursel would have written down a little note. Let's discuss <laughs> that second end, see what happened. It was funny, uh, before the game I was telling you, you know, Bobby texted me and he said, coaching has uh, given me some gray hairs <laughs> with this team. There's been some, some, uh, some calls this week where he's uh, scratching his head a little bit. And but that's that's the joy of coaching, isn't it? Where you, you get out there and working with the athletes who are yeah, hired for a reason. A guy like Bob Burst is hired for a reason to, to help help out such discussions. The trick is it's hard to do it mid-game. Usually you'd like to have that figured out before the game starts. <laughs> so on the first... Team China stone it does slip behind the T line. Corner guard goes up, and then uh, another yes. China stone top twelve. Yes. So China or Japan, yes. pardon me, ignoring this the two Please. rocks on the center line and trying to get one buried behind Please. their corner guard. Line's good. Trying to take that play Line's away good. from the center. Yeah, well done here. Good wait. Dead buried. Excellent okay. shot. China looking for just a tight center now. Nice shot. Overcurled just a hair. You can see that 
the look of it there, Mike, you can see about half of maybe that stone in the top eight and a little less than half in that stone to back four. So again, this all comes down to weight choice. Would love to keep a shooter in play, obviously. Our, our friend and uh, six-time Canadian champion, Colleen Jones, would call that the Christmas tree, on uh, where you have each stone half buried behind the one in front of it. Yes, 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 yes. I always wonder where that came from. You need our telestrator to draw above it <laughs> to really get an idea. But uh, that was a nice, ta nice shot there from Team Japan to be able to stay. Not a ton of room there by the guard, but uh, you see Zoe having a look. Hard to roll all the way over there. And you almost have to touch the guard. Trying to hit hard, just hard. inside. Hard. Oh, they change, oh, change, change their, their mind. mind. Oh, yeah. Jams it on the shot. Oh, yeah. Just uh, speaks to uh, that Team Japan shot. It really was ended up in a very good spot. I suspect uh, China will change gears here if this roll is made and start uh, running some rocks back. Nice roll. So Japan currently lines three. As you say, Mike, maybe time for China, China to uh, change gears. Well, this is one way to change gears. They're playing the freeze. Playing but, the freeze. Uh, but, you know, I think you and I talked about the other day. You know, the first factor in what shot you're going to call should be the score. You know, you're two up. By playing this shot, they're... They're gonna. They're risking giving up a big. The rewards obviously don't have to make the freeze, but uh, even if they do, they're still in a bit of trouble. So that would uh, indicate a lot of skull. Well, and there's still a lot of rocks to come too. And sure. If for any reason you make this perfect, if Japan were to miss, that's a lot of time you have to spend freezing it. That's a fine effort. Very great shot. But you know, Japan's going to come down, unlock that freeze, and stay frozen. Then what do you do? Great opportunity here for Japan to just move those rocks around just a little bit. As you say, just come down to the face and unlock that back yes, yes. stone of theirs. Try and, yes. try and get some room. Yes. Yes. But most importantly, stay frozen on the yes. front half as yes. well. Yes. 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 Going for line here. Okay. It's pretty good. China's kind of all in here. They have to freeze. Okay. Great brushing. By the Japanese team, you can just see that rock just keeps curling and curling. Gets a decent roll. But as you say, Mike, I I would agree with you. China needs to go all in. Well, they're all in now. So another freeze opportunity here. This is the third last stone here of the third end. She thinks it's heavy on the on the right. Really don't want to rattle things around here much. Pretty good. 
I think that ends up in a pretty good spot. So. Over on sheet C, Scotland taking RCF. RCF with an early 2-0 lead. And uh. line one, I believe. Yes, maybe even two. They, they're looking at oh, yes. uh, some sort of shot to tap that stone out. With that ice, we haven't really been paying too much attention to sheet C yet, so I'm not sure if with, is that ice for the draw or ice for the tap. Yeah, we'll let you know in a moment, <laughs> folks. <laughs> the draw's there. Okay. Back four. Uh, so back four. back four. So I think if they took normal ice for the draw, that yes, guard please. right of center is in the way. So this is a tricky yes. shot in that they need to rub oh, off shot yes. stone and roll in. Yes. Throwing a little extra weight. We looked at it there, Mike. You can't really see any of that rock behind that red guard. Line's good. Line's good. Hard. Line's great. No backing. Just by the wide guard. No clean, clean. Yep, 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 yep. Clean, clean. That was a little tricky, but wow. uh, well done. One for Scotland. Shot. It's funny this week, you know, RCF. Well, that's good. They're up earlier, up top of the leaderboard. Probably going to lose the game eventually, and they just keep winning and winning and winning. And winning. Just, they are for real, and Skip, Sergei Glukov, just making everything. As he really is. He's, he's made so many shots this week. If they had a, a, an all-star award at this event, he would, he would be my vote, I think. So, nice job of unlocking those stones by Japan. You see the two yellows shot stone. Not a ton that China can do here without okay. taking some risk of really opening things up. Going to try to tap their own stone into the forefoot. This is tight though. Got to go for line and for weight. Oh yeah, this is getting to the center line very quickly. No, so Japan currently lying two. Let's go back to uh, about four or five <laughs> calls ago when you're Team China, you're two up, and all of a sudden the rest, you know, they're in danger of giving up three or four here now. And we've seen that a couple times, and. And, and, and it's interesting, like, like you say, Mike, I'm with you. First thing you look at is the scoreboard. If you don't need any points at the immediate time, then you don't need to play. With it's good everyone. to play takeouts. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we have more points than they do, so let's <laughs> play some takeouts. Anyway, Japan's got a bit of work to do to, to get more than two as well. It's not an easy shot to tap that in and lie three, but the possibility is certainly there. And then China really doesn't have a shot. Their their reds are so vulnerable. Mm -hmm. China would probably have to guard and hope they don't give up more than three. You see the time remaining for both teams there. Clock of Japan's is currently running down as we call this thinking time, 38 minutes per team. So 10 end games at just under four minutes per end. So Rolling the third end, they're, uh, they're burning through their <laughs> their clock pretty quickly here. The trick is uh, deciding what weight to throw here. Talking about the straight peel, it's not a bad play. Understanding that China really can't do a whole lot in terms of moving their stones very far. And if they do, all those other yellows <laughs> may may have a chance of scoring. So by peeling the guard here, they'll probably see China. Well, I'm going to say probably guard, but I, I, you know, based on what we've seen in this end, I'm not 100% sure. If you look at the one they're peeling, Mike, doesn't that just open up the easy tap for China on that side of the ice? Perhaps, but I don't think they, I'm not sure they can get shot stone. And if they bump it a little too hard, you could see all those other yellows have a chance of counting. It's curling a bit. Okay, well done. So, 
Huh? You know, you take a Just over on sheet D again, uh, Denmark with an early 1 0 lead over the United States. U.S. does have that biter off on the back right side, so I believe this is a hit for two. Solid. Yeah, Denmark tried a cross ring double on their last and almost hit it hard enough to knock that uh, stone out of play. So this leaves John Schuster with a chance to take the lead. That was well done. <laughs> Had to think about that. So back to Arshi. The, the, the vulnerable stone for China is the one at the back, the red one right by Zhou's foot. If they rattle those back stones enough where they open up a double on the two reds, that's when they can get into trouble. So yes, they can play a tap, but they really can't afford to throw any weight at all. If you could tap that yellow four inches on the center line at the back of the button, great. But if you tap it a foot, you could end up leaving Japan with a shot for five or six if you get the angle wrong up top. So, so Coach Mike, he would maybe throw a guard? Well, a little bit like the tolerance we talked about last time. What is, what's an acceptable miss? An acceptable miss is not bumping the red far enough. So right now, you know, Japan can't get that top red out. Right. So if you bump it too hard, you may <laughs> end up helping your opponent. So as long as everyone not is on the same page, I'll buy in. But <laughs> it's very dangerous to uh, to play to make any play on that. So final stone here for So Xiang, skip of Team China and number three with a two nothing lead. Has to be extremely careful. Not to change the angles too much on this shot to favor Japan. Way looks reasonable. Curling a lot. Pretty good, but you know, yellow still lying too, and they've actually made Japan's next shot easier. Exactly. So yeah. that was the risk in playing that shot. So they're not going to give up five or six, but. You know, Japan has a chance now just to tap that yellow a couple of inches. About a foot, I guess they need to move it. So it'll be close. Interesting end. A few rocks in play. Matsumira has to make this, obviously. You can see almost all of that yellow stone. Hit what you can see. T-line weight. Trying to make it curl a little. I curl a lot here. Overthrown. So that's a, a miss from Team Japan. Had a chance for three, only gets two. It's tied after three.
We are heading into are. end number four, session 20, the battle between Landed. China and Japan. There just just overthrown ever so slightly on that last Landed. Japan stone, Mike. Yes, you heard uh, them say to call to throw T line, but that probably had backline weight on it. And that's, that's a little bit what we spoke about when the ice is moving so much. You have to really marry the line and the weight you're calling in order to make shots. And that's uh, that's why the top teams like ice that moves. When the ice is dead straight, the line really isn't much of an issue for any of the teams. So it, it adds to the skill level required to be precise when the ice is moving a lot. And uh, like I said, that makes you look a little silly when you, <laughs> you know, it looked like it really wasn't that close, but in fact, he was just a couple of feet heavy, but uh, the result is nowhere close. Shinya Abe with his second stone right, here in the fourth Lines end. Lines good. Having a great tournament thus oh, far, 87%. Lines good. Lines good. Lines good. Makes a no mistake there. I bring play to the middle without the hammer. Good call. Three. So change in tactic here, we saw before where China would actually come around the corner guard. And this time they're going to try and move that center guard out of the way. Yeah, a little tick shot, maybe roll the shooter behind the corner guard. He just threw up. Nice call. Going hard. A little yep. too, too yep. far is the question, but no, it's great. Really good. Two corner guards now, and uh, it's a good touch. Try and hit that a little thinner and roll the shooter in, but that's fine. Yasumasa Tanita having a good tournament as well at 82%. Made some big, big shots for his team this week. Looking to split center here. Just over curl a little. So say that's been the, the miss the last couple of days. It looks like there's room now, Mike, just where that guard ended up, that they can actually come around it, tap the yellow top four and roll behind the corner guards. Definitely, yeah. There's Certainly if you just get the nose and not allow... Japan to roll very, that's a good shot. Wang with 79% thus far in this tournament. So, so his face dropped there, that was, uh, <laughs> had over, it over curled early. I would say that they're a little bit more of an outturn team than an intern team. They're, they, little, they were a little better most of the week with that, with the outturn, but that's a good result that they rolled into the rings and uh, <laughs> again Japan ignoring and throwing a center guard without the hammer it's always risky to leave your opponent stones hanging around without last rock it puts a little extra pressure on yourself to make these guards perfect oh, that's right <laughs> Just need to touch the center on this one because they do have that other yellow guard that's up there as well protecting it. And that looks great. Still maybe a hole there. Tight one, but it's there. And worth trying it if you have wreck on the guard, you're peel, you're kind of peel off anyway. The double peel. Uh, Looks like they're <laughs> the, 
I thought they'd called the double peel, but uh, they've actually gone back to trying to, to trying to get through the port. Both these teams so, so technically sound. It's really nice to see. They work very hard on their technical. Wow. Great. Wow. Yeah, whoa, whoa, what a shot. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I was going to doubt you that there was a hole. <laughs> you threw the skinny rock. <laughs> Great, Great brushing. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And whoa. what a call. Fantastic shot. So a chance now for China to uh, to lie three if they want. You know, obviously there's a, a wall on the left hand side that Japan can roll behind. I like I like putting some pressure trying to lie three here though. These splits. They never worked well for me. <laughs> you always end up invariably leaving a pretty easy double. It's really hard to. Uh, I guess the shooter could go across the top and tap that stone to the back, eight foot and roll buried. But I like the idea of line three. Well, you did mention something about Japan not removing that stone over the 12 foot. And although it wasn't a big deal earlier, it could be a big deal now. Yeah, never. Let's just say never. You know, if, if you're in desperation steel mode, okay, that's one thing. You know, but a tie game early, and you don't have last rock against teams that are so good now with their run backs and whatnot. Just, uh, it's just always a risk. Oh. saw his numbers. Oh. He's trying to get a piece of this, Mike, and it just goes right by. Unforced error. It's nice control weight, just didn't finish for him. Worried about the double? Try to make one roll or the other. Tetsuro Shimizu, 82% so far at this championship. Really going. As you said, want to go one way or the other. Didn't really want to leave it there. Yeah, kind of got caught in between. So over on sheet D, the United States taking on Denmark with a one-point lead, and it looks currently like United States line two. Yeah. And this looks similar to the shot we saw from Bruce Moda in that that yellow guard is kind of in the way of the draw. So this needs to be, I would say, back eight foot-ish and rub off that stone that's buried. Mikhail Krause has been looking at some tough shots all week. Trying to make a curl and almost got through there. Almost gave up three, in fact, but it'll be a steal of two. Two big shots for that, everybody. So big steal of two for the United States, a 4-1 lead after four. <laughs> All right, I don't think we changed it. So back in our sheet, China didn't quite get the full roll, so it's still exposed. So Matsumura trying to get a hit and roll behind those guards. Sweeping for curl. 
Would love that to stay. <laughs> you always know what he's, uh, Yuta is thinking. <laughs> Where's his heart on his sleeve? You know, China looked at playing the hit to lie two and is now going around the middle. Part of, part of being a good skip is understanding what your opponents are going to play next. So they think if they hit in lie two that Japan will go around the middle. I think if I was skipping and was tied, I don't think I would go around the middle <laughs> with Japan and risk giving up three. So we'll see what... Uh, Zoe was able to do here. Only at 71 for the week, but the last couple of days he's been much better. Uh, first, first two or three days especially, he really looked uncomfortable out there. Having coached them, Mike, what, what are the ice conditions like that they practice on? Very good. They've got a Canadian uh, ice maker there, Jamie okay. Barassa. Many people would know Jamie, and uh, Jamie works for the Chinese Curling Federation and prepares the ice very well for, uh, for this team and okay. all their high performance teams. Okay. So that certainly yeah. is not the issue of okay. um, yeah. the ice conditions. No, 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 no. Okay. So if you're Team Japan here and you do not uh, have, or have okay. Hammer uh, here in the fourth yeah. end, Mike, do you go around or do you hit the second stone? Well, now that you're shot stone, I think if, if you know the ice, the trick, of course, is you end up doing what, uh, what China just did and, and wreck on something, but uh, I think this is not that hard of a shot for Matsumura. Two. Top of the button, dead buried. That sounds pretty good. Chance to lie too. Definitely like this call. This is final stone for Team Japan and number four. Drawing to lie <laughs> two without <laughs> hammer here. <laughs> I'd love to force China to have to take a single. There it is, got through. And uh, really a great shot. What a shot. The, the good news is, I mean, it came open on the outturn right. side, which is unfortunate, but uh, no double available for China. But goal accomplished. Their 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 goal is to force, force them to one. Definitely, and uh, this is this is no bargain. I will say Zoe's outturn runs very straight as a general statement. So we'll see how this uh, this reacts. Big shot here, though. A lot of pressure. Stone. So she Yang, Team China, looking for the hit and stick, and as Mike pointed out, runs straight. He needs to get through that tiny port. Wow. Whoa, and just <laughs> does. That was a good uh, no sweep. Wow. So one on the board for China, and they take a 3 2 lead after four ends of play. Look at that, still on the outside, just at the last minute, does it curl by? Clean, clean! Zhou trying to help it through there and does a good job of the body language.
Yep, okay. Yep. Sa? Uh, they tied it. They tied it. Great shot there by the Chinese oh. skip to just oh, get through that court and get his single point. So he takes a 3 2 lead as we head into the fifth end of play. Japan China battle here on sheet A. No lack of interest in the last few ends. Lots of, uh, <laughs> lots of, lots of good shots <laughs> and uh, interesting calls. So much to be decided yet. So just over on sheet C, we see RCF taking on Scotland with a 2-1 lead. And it looks like, Mike, uh, RCF line three. All RCF here in end number four, and uh, any Scottish curling fans will not be happy about this look as Glukov has a draw for four. And as I mentioned in our last update, just keep waiting for them to kind of stumble and they seem to be getting better as, as the week goes on. So, Grant Hardy taking a quick peek, but uh, you know, you know, RCF would have hit that one if they they believed that they were only lying three, and it is four, six one if you can imagine for RCF here through four ends of play. Wow. Shinya Abe with his second stone here in five. Yep, I'm five. Yep, 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 we're trying to go for the one that was top 12, but it's a good plan B. You know, in the odd end here, you may you may see Japan maybe go a little bit more conservatively, see if they can't get the hammer into end number six. But uh, chance to hit my three. They'll have a bit of work to do to make that happen. <laughs> but uh, they still have six rocks in which to do it. And they'll roll out to help the cause. So. We'll see if they just elect to, elect to play the hit. Yeah. Also, maybe bank a few minutes <laughs> after three or four ends of uh, heavy thought. I think that's probably a good call too. We we saw them do that in the previous game where they you know use up a lot of time in that first half, and we've already talked about it where. You do need that time when it starts to get a little more complicated in the last half of the game. Yes, 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 so trying to hit and roll. This one's going to overcurl and actually roll the other way. That was, but managed to stay. Lighter weight this time. Hard. Over adjustment, maybe. Hard. Hard. Trying to get a piece here. They got it. That was well swept. Very well swept. Trying to hit and roll towards the other red. China stone, maybe group the stones a little closer together and maybe a rock or two get them set up for a double. And this is a this is a good coaching moment too. I think Melissa for many young teams 
hitting the one in the middle seems like the good idea if you want to just group stones together. But you know, if you happen to roll out, your opponents can then draw wide and have these stones 10 feet apart. So a lot of times it's better just to play the wide one, roll to the middle. So even if you roll out on the wide one, they can't really get those stones exactly too far apart as you go through the end. Both teams just exchanging stones here. Right now, the force is on. China to force Japan to have to take a single so far if things stay the same. Yeah, it's a bit of work to do. Every time you every every rock that goes by, you know, China will be thinking, okay, we just got to do this two more times. And there's no doubles, nowhere close to any doubles being available right now. No. Yes. Good brushing there, just trying to get it to curl right to the nose. Sometimes you get complacent when you're just playing these so-called easy shots, just these hit and sticks, but every single time it's a focus on focusing on what you have to do, how weight you have to throw, and just throwing it clean at the broom. Okay. There's not even real, uh, any real opportunity here for Japan to change gears. There's nowhere to hide. No. Nope. <laughs> do anything. So they, need, they really need to roll six or seven feet to the right as we're looking at it here to have a chance. So maybe this is a chance to take on a little more of an aggressive roll. You don't want to roll out per se, but you'd like to have. There's only, only skip rocks to come. They yeah. need to get it closer. Yes. Trying. Yes. Yes. They're trying. Nope. Nose hit might leave Matsumura a double if uh, China hits his dead on the nose. A big weight cross ring double. So China will be trying to roll to the right Chanel. again. Xiang with his first stone here in the fifth end. Yep. 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 They're sweeping for straight. They don't want to roll towards the other red stone. Go, go, go. So there's the, this, this might be Matsumura's best chance to make the double. Best and only here in, in number five. Definitely doable. <laughs> Big weight, lots of rotation coming. Made a lot of these Whoa. this week. Yes. It's got a curl. Nice. He's close. There it is. Yeah, and he's got it. What a <laughs> shot. Nice. Much needed. Well done. Yuta Matsumura makes the double. Yes. Well called as well. Well swept. Nice. It's one of those yes. beauty Whoa. team shots. Thank you, Skip. You bet. Well done. Assuming Team China makes this hit and stick, you will look to see Japan trying for the blank end here in five. You always want to give your opposition a... make them throw their last shot. Don't want to give them a throw through. 
Okay. And okay. that's what will happen. No, I can make this one. Now. <laughs> <laughs> With your eyes closed. With my eyes closed, exactly. Oh, good end. That was a, the game plan for Team Japan right from where word one was to uh, get the blank here and have the hammer into the even ends. And thanks to that double from Matsumura, they will be successful. The final stone here for Team Japan and number five. Just a throw through is gonna, going to pick a spot on the ice where he just wants to have a look at the line. And you can see him there. Very focused on having a look and seeing what The Rock does there. Picked it a specific weight. And it is a blank. So after five ends of play, China, three, Japan, two. Going back to the second end of play there, Mike. Japan currently lying two. Yep. Yep. Beautiful run back here played by Zhou. Zhou Xiang playing the intern and uh, great result here. Actually makes a little double and makes things tough on Japan. Ends up with a steal of one to go up two nothing. And Japan bounced back with a two in the third end, and this was a little nerve-wracking for China. It was hanging and hanging and hanging, just trying to get through that port, and they, well, Mike, you helped it. You leaned for them and hit and stick for one. <laughs> and the game plan the whole way here in the fifth end was a blank opportunity for Japan, but uh, weren't uh, able to make this elusive double until Matsumura's first. Yes! Yes! Needed this to nice. retain last rock into end number six. Beautifully done, and they did get the blank. Yes! Denmark, United States. It is currently 4 1 USA over Denmark, and USA putting tons of pressure on Denmark with last stone here in five. And Mikkel Kraus on his last, drawing against three. On the left, so into the game. Sweeping this to the button. Get their one, but uh, they're going to trail now by two at the break without last rock to Team USA. And there's the scores in our game. 3-2 China leading Japan. We saw earlier RCF taking a 6-1 lead over Scotland. And United States 4-2 with Hammer heading into the sixth end. You, you, you have created a couple of chances now. So just take 
force now or blank is okay. But don't try to play steel or something like that. No. Yeah. yeah, because you have to keep keep it up because if so small Morgan also play that game. Okay. Hang in and do a good game. Okay? You ready for one, two, three? And having a look at the stats after five ends, Japan total percentage, Mike, out curling China 85 to 76. Yeah, it hasn't translated to the scoreboard yet, but uh, really nothing to choose right now. Down one with the hammer, lots to be decided yet. And there's a score again, 3-2 China over Japan. China with hammer here, or sorry, Japan with hammer here in six. And it was an, we overheard coach from China having a conversation with his team. Yeah, not going too crazy here, trying to go for the steal. We're winning, no need to steal here, or force or blank. And blank would actually be an ideal result where they're in the seventh end um, ahead in Japan with a hammer. So ideally then you really try to force in seven and have two hammers to one situation late in the game. So yeah, good opportunity for, uh, well, really for both teams, you know, and conversely, you know, Japan's going to do everything they can to score here in six. You can't get a blank if the other team won't cooperate <laughs> with that strategy. And basically what I took away from that uh, conversation with Soren is okay. just play it a little bit huh? more simple. Don't, don't put a ton of rocks in play. So Sojin two, Tao, sorry. First one just slipped to the back eight. Looking for the second stone here to top 12, top eight. Okay. 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 Just heading over to Sheet C for a quick peek. RCF with a 6-1 lead and still putting pressure on Scotland, who has the hammer here in the fifth end. I yeah, saw so Bruce Mode was looking at those two stones at the top. It appears that this is the shot for two. Which would uh, get... Scotland back into this one. Got to go. Hard. And that is an unforced error. That's going to roll out, and you cannot afford to have uh, misses on the easy ones. And Scotland only with one now. RCF has the hammer going into the six. And four ahead of Scotland. Wow. Wow, was right. So pretty good come around by okay. Team Japan right. there. It does go deep, back 12. It's a uh, second okay. shot. Okay. So China now going to follow it down. Try and take away, kind of out count that one and kind of sit 1-2. Oh. Wang Zhui, 75% thus far. Oh. Oh. Line's good here. Okay. Exactly what they called. Very nice. Nice to see the guys laughing out there as uh, <laughs> Speaking with their team leaders earlier in the week, and when Skip Zo was struggling, He's, he was just putting so much pressure on himself to to perform well. You know, there is a lot of eyes on this team. 
at this world championship with the uh, China being the host country for the Olympics. So expectations are definitely high and but you know as you know it's hard to win when you have the external pressure. Usually the athletes put enough pressure on themselves to not have to worry what, what others are thinking about them. Very true. They had a, a team meeting about midway through the week and just said, just be yourself out there and try to enjoy the experience. And uh, interestingly, started playing better. So China, again, trying to mind uh, tapping the hair, unlocking everything in there. Go for Whoa. weight Whoa. and line, I think. Just entirely open. Can't afford to throw a ton of weight at this. That back yellow will spin to the right, so the one that's in the middle will spin to the right and be open if they throw too much weight, so it's like pack weight being asked for. So ideally, I believe Mike trying to get to the nose. Yes, Masa Tanita, 90% today having a great game. It's got some curling to do. Okay. Okay. Opportunity here uh, for China to hit okay. and then lie three. Tian Oh. Uh, Almost. Okay. 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 So we talked about it at the beginning of this end, Mike, that Jap Japan really wants to score, minimum score this end. I think you talked about it. Blank would have been nice, but I don't think that's on the in the cards anymore. Uh, yeah, blank could be <laughs> tricky at this point. <laughs> I'm just looking at Bob Ursel in the back <laughs> yeah, there after the call off the wide one was made. He kind of uh, shook his head a bit and now uh, <laughs> uh, the team's not convinced either. You can tell. <laughs> and there goes the crossed arms <laughs> Coach Bob Ursel. <laughs> You should have just an ISO cam on both coaches just to see, <laughs> <laughs> to see reactions based on each call. <laughs> One thing that is new here this year at the World Championships uh, is that the coaches are right at ice level and uh, between ends, the athletes can interact, which is a little bit different. In past years, uh, the coaches were not allowed to communicate with the athletes at all. So this is a, a rule change that's, uh, I think, Papa. welcomed by both athletes and coaches alike. Papa. Most sports, your coach can talk to you during the game, so I, li I like this rule change. I've heard a lot of feedback as well at, at, that you have one team per end rather than squishing everybody at the home end, and that's been a big, a big thing for a lot of teams as well. I mean, that, that's due to COVID protocol, but I think it's also very good for the coaches and the Absolutely. athletes. You can listen into your conversation, whoa, whoa, whoa. so. Whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. It's a pretty good result. That's, that Yellowstone's difficult to move without jamming on that back yellow. I think if uh, you get high degree of difficulty by playing the intern here, you could play the short run back. Watch where this rolls to. It's going to roll just partially buried here. And that back red stone definitely in play here. China has come very close to the top stone to make this nicely. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Curl, curl, curl. Be single one. That was really oh, well. Wow. That Great. Was, that was hard to do. That was hard to do. What a lovely shot. Just have another quick look at this. Even had another inch or two to go by that guard, but didn't want to flirt too close with it. First one to make the roll perfectly is going to have an advantage here. That's better again. That rolled even further behind. Out turn, run back is the call. It's just, uh, they have to stay, otherwise Japan can make a play on those rocks behind the corner card. And Zoe's out turn. We have mentioned how straight it is. <laughs> Doesn't look like very much ice, and ice is starting to move a little bit, but it's it's plenty for him. I'll I'll let you know that. Sixty-eight percent. So Xiang so far this game. I didn't. I don't think he's missed a ton. Yeah, a few half shots half like that. Half shots, yeah. yeah. And again, okay. just runs a little straighter than his, his teammates. Again, if if you're a, a curler, the important thing is is doing it the same all the time. Almost more important than throwing it technically perfect is that you throw it the same all the time and. I said I've known him for a few years, and <laughs> that out turn run straight of his. I think uh, if I was Matsumura, I'd try to throw a bit of weight at this and move that yellow back, excuse me, the red back a bit, and your, your yellow should stay in the rings. Blind up pretty nicely, but he's going to play the freeze one more time. And again, China won't be able to afford to throw a ton of weight at the uh, if the freeze is made nicely. So risking giving up a couple of points here. Yuta Matsumiro, we see his game number, 72%. Looking for the freeze, angle freeze on this red Chinese stone. Japan working really hard trying to figure out a way to get a deuce this end. Yeah, good freeze would be a start. This looks really good. If it doesn't bounce too far. Dead on the nose is pretty good, I think. I don't see any way to get two if he can hit that on the nose. Yeah, just a couple Someone. feet extra weight. Right, just like that. <laughs> I didn't pick up much Chinese when I was over there, so I can't tell you what they were saying, but... Uh, a nose hit is, is the right call. You can have a quick look at the angles. It's a good idea. What he's worried about there, Mike, is if he noses it, does he think that Japan can throw it hard enough and peel them all out? Yeah, I just, uh, they don't want to disturb those three, I think, on the, on the in behind the corner guard. Uh, John Schuster, final stone here. This looks as a hit for really to put the game away. They're up 4 2 with the hammer. Shot for four as uh, Matsunar guard looks on. Somewhat concerned, I'm sure. <laughs> USA's looked very good the last two days. Two huge wins yesterday. Beating Scotland and Norway. Keep turning it. 
Hard, Matty. Keep going. Keep going. Hard, Matty. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Great shot. There's eight two through six ends of play. China working hard and trying to keep that one. What? Just rolls a little towards the center. Pretty good, I think, Mike. Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything there for two. I don't think so yeah. either. They'd have to hit just a, an inch of that shot stone to save their shooter. And I don't know they can kick that red out. And it might even jam on the back left as well, so I'm not sure it's worthwhile. Key here, we down one. Make sure you score if you're Japan. Have the hammer in the even ends. It's a good end, though, from, uh, from both teams, really. Uh, China gets the force here. We'll see if uh, maybe Matsumura is going to throw the peel at this. I don't know, but I think it's <laughs> I think it's a quiet way to hit for two or for one. Excuse me. Yes, that's a that's a much. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> looks like a hit and stay weight. It's right on the nose for one for Team Japan if they can make that happen. Sweeping for curl. Got to get closer to the center line here. And great shot. So there's one on the board for Team Japan. They tie this game up after six ends of play. It is 3-3 China-Japan. Well, it wasn't for lack of trying. Team Japan just trying to find a way to get their deuce. But China was having no part of that. So we're sitting two at the at the end of their last shot. So Japan making a hit and stick for one to tie this game. But most importantly, as you said, Mike, had a score in the even end. Correct. And, uh, you know, you're going to see China maybe try for the blank here. So they would try to get the uh, hammer going home in eight. Have uh, two hammers to one. Okay. Long way to come back. That is instead of throwing your own corner guard, here you go around the middle. And uh, as soon as China is able to play, start playing some peels or double peels, they will do so. And you may see Japan throw the double center here because they really don't want to let China blank. <laughs> so that rock from the China lead just slips back four. First indication by Japan is to freeze to that stone that slipped behind the T line. Coming, coming into the rings here, that's going to help China's cause to, mm. for the blank. Mm. 
And just over on sheet C, it looks like Scotland lies one in the forefoot, Mike, right behind that long guard that I think RCF running back. Right, so this is a 25 foot straight back rather than drawing the, the button, but it's for three. And uh, if you thought uh, them beating Canada wow. last night was uh, was a uh, you know a fluke, they're handling one of the top five teams in the world rankings here in six ends. Look at this shot. What a fantastic shot! Nine two oh, wow. in six ends against uh, one of the favorites coming to this championship and puts them at ten and two and. That may oh, guarantee them themselves a spot into the uh, semifinals. <laughs> we'll have to verify that with when we look at the standings after this draw is done. But what a shot from Glukov. As I said, he's been the star here all week. He really has so much confidence. Such a great shot. <laughs> Incredible week for a team that, you know, I like to think I know a lot of the top teams in the world. and. Honestly, I've never seen them play before, and uh, so impressive. Nice. Incredible performance. Well, now that there's uh, been five rocks thrown, you may see China play. Uh, there you go, looking at the run back, and definitely can get a number of rocks moving. Hit that just okay. to, from the yellow one, just to the right of center on the one on the top of the forefoot. You could see four. Rocks gone, including all three yellows. Yep. Hard. 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 Close. Hard. Hard. Just passes by. Okay. Chest over curls. Okay. Good try. Kind of guarding for their life here in, <laughs> in number seven. There is a little red yellow combination at the top of the forefoot available available for China as well if they decide to. If they don't make any type of run back here in the next couple of shots, you might see them try to tap and lie a couple. I'll show you that as the rocks come into view here in a moment. Trying to get this uh, finished to the center line. There's that red yellow combination in the forefoot area. So I think China may peel one or two more times. But just thinking about that, Mike, do you make the play now or do you maybe peel one more time? It's tempting when you can see it, a little piece of that red stone, but it is the yellow center guard that is the problem rock at the moment. Correct. I didn't see the out turn tap as an option, here, but uh, <laughs> they could get to the nose of that yellow at the top of the forefoot that's exposed. So, again, Pro side miss would be to have this over curl a little. You hate to hit this on the outside and you'd move your red into the open. Good shot. Just try to make a curl once it got by the guard. Okay. Not bad, actually. Left the red in there. The you know, they did unlock their red on the right. So a chance to get a <laughs> another one in the top four foot here, but China trying to apply some pressure. So it looks like Japan line first and third. But they're uh, they're vulnerable with that red Very stone. Much so. Japan looking to freeze on that red stone on the left in the forefoot. Try to get it, try to get the shooter to be touching the center line. Oh. 
マジで。枠ならおだ。ロックあるかな。クリーン。See how far out this one is, Mike, but it will make its way. If the weight's good, it'll get there, yeah. Just got to curl a little bit more. Now it's heavy. China could play some weight at that red on the right and uh, get some yellows moving. If they want it. Very crowded around that button uh, right, right now. Well, imagine if you hit the, the red on the left very thinly into the one that was just thrown. The red's just going to spin right into the pocket here. They're going to run the guard back, which is also okay. That top red is not going anywhere for a couple of rocks at least. It's close. Oh. Uh, sorry, sorry. I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> we just have to digest that for a moment. Yeah. I think they had to sweep that a bit, actually. I'm not sure it's great because... Well, the top yellow stayed. Yep. And the, sh the center guard stayed. <laughs> and they lost one of the rocks in the forefoot. So, you know, yeah, it's probably not as good as it could have been. And both yellow stones being in front of the red Chinese stone, so yeah. in a bit of what we call control. Yeah, sweep that a little more, get the shooter out of the way. The one, the yellow on the right, as we're looking at, it's gone. That's much better situation, even though there'd be still, <laughs> you know, two yellow stones in the foot, but there wouldn't be anything else to worry about. Again, blank, really not an option <laughs> at this <laughs> <No>. point. <laughs> Pretty sure we'll see someone score here. So it looks like they're trying to play this top four, just biting top four. I don't want to bring it in too deep. <laughs> third, second stone. <laughs> Yes. 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 Trying to get it by. Okay. That's pretty good. I think uh, trying to get tap so. that though. I would say just follow down, move it back. Oh, okay. Okay. If they're hoping to not bounce okay. off. Uh, okay. Yeah, just just a what, couple inches too heavy, maybe at the most. Would have been nice just to stay right on the corner of that red stone. Wasn't an easy shot. This is tight ice for the weight that they need to, in order to stay. They missed a little heavy. It's the right ice. <laughs> this is quite heavy. Don't really want to roll away like that. Was, okay. uh, with that ice call, there was it was hard to do much else. Still, a lot of red hanging around, and they have the hammer. So Japan's got to be very careful where they place their stones. Otherwise, could bring them all in, into the mix. Do you ever decide at some point to guard Mike, or do you keep, keep bringing this into the forefoot area? Well, I think the problem for Japan guarding is that uh, China could hit the left-hand yellow at the top of the eight-foot straight back and actually make a double for three. So sometimes the best guard is another rock <laughs> in the forefoot, and I think that might be a wise choice here. They actually could hit the left-hand yellow as well, maybe make that double also. I, I would be tempted to maybe throw a hack waiter on the yellow on the button, tap it back, and roll the shooter. That might also be good. Get rid of one of those reds. Tap, freeze. As we look at the time at the back, they're just uh, ticking away. Yeah, it was Japan that we were watching that had <laughs> only a minute and 16 seconds to play the last end. Luckily, they had a three point lead, so there <laughs> wasn't a lot of decisions to be made. Yuta Matsumura with his first stone, seventh end. 
A tight battle here between China and Japan. Trying to replace the stone that was just thrown top four. It's got a lot of curling to do. Yeah, decent. So, <laughs> do you run that yellow back? I think, uh, you know, it's it's worth a try. Or that one, one of the two. Yeah, they have two ways in, that's for sure. The problem is if the one on the left, if you do make the one on the button go away, you likely th that top yellow will kick into the left hand red. So, but may leave China lying one, certainly maybe even two. It is possible to hit it where you just tick it and, and, and lie three. Yeah, they're just looking at it. If you just hit it just off nose, Mike, does it not spin between those two red stones? If you feather it, yes. You, feather you, you it. could hit it. You could hit it where you hit half that red and on the button, and it'll, it'll probably, or excuse me, the yellow on the button, and it'll probably kick into your red over on the wings. But uh, it's it's doable, and all of a sudden, <laughs> you know, you'd be lying three. In Japan throwing a, a very high pressure shot. Yeah, with one stone remaining in this end. So big shot here for Zoshiang. Skip of Team China, his first of two. Seventh end. It's tight. Never fun when you're raising an opposition stone in, that's for sure. Especially okay, when you okay. nudge them into the rings. They may have moved that yellow far enough to only leave them lying one. It's close. I think it might be two. I'm traditionally bad at this. I think we, I've talked about this a bit before. But yeah, I think it's two yellow to be honest, but it's very close. Just over curl. I've said that a lot today. So advantage to Team Japan right now. So what are they looking to do here, Mike? If they're lying two, I think they just try to prevent any option to score um, for China. If they're only lying one, they may want to get another one wide around the situation. I didn't see the call, but I think they, you know, with that ice, they could be playing the freeze on that yellow stone that's buried again. If you see, let's see that red, yellow, red combination at the top, though. If they, if this gets into a bad spot. China could have a very simple run on those two that are lined up. I'd be tempted to bump the yellow on the right there at the top of the eight foot. That looks like a much easier shot than the freeze. Yellow stone at the top eight foot. Tap and lie three. No risk of lining up <laughs> that situation on the left. And it looks pretty straightforward as well. The cut, the run, the, uh, the, the tap. Well, yeah, the tap on the left hand side. You see this players looking over at the uh, the monitors up above the ice surface. It's kind of a nice little feature for the sweepers, especially Melissa. They can see what's going on at the far end. Yeah, rethinking this one is Uta's come back down to have a conversation. Oh, they're just having a look, I guess, to see who's second shot, maybe. But I, I'm with you, Mike. I kind of like that tap on the right-hand side of the yellow, just straight into the button area. Not much can go wrong. No. Right? No. So. It just seems natural, more natural than this is quite a difficult shot. If this ends up top four foot, half buried, you know, China's just going to run that yellow-red combination and may have a chance to score more than one out of this mess. So last rock for Team Japan. Be really careful about the rock placement here. The line is good. They want to get this fully buried to not allow the run back. Oh boy. <laughs> they haven't looked at the top one. So I, I think... The two yellows on the left are shot, first and second. 
Well, the good news for China on this stone on the right-hand side, they, as long as they make contact with the red, there's no way to squeeze it through. <laughs> exactly. I don't think so. They'll definitely score. Have to hit it, though. Big shot here for China skip Zhou Xiang. I think Japan potentially line two, maybe three. Not sure. Last stone, seventh end. Got to get a piece of this red and tick it in. And he's close. What a shot. Well done. That's an end saver. <laughs> Fantastic shot. That's one more on the board for Team China. And here it is again. Great brushing all the way down. Couldn't see much of it. No, it, it, actually, if you hit it a hair thinner, they might have squeezed right into those two on the far left. But I'm sure they're happy to score one after Zoe's miss on his first. Absolutely. So one more on the board. It is 4-3, China over Japan. <laughs> <笑>我操他妈我十五秒够十五秒不是十五秒我说时间我说后边十五秒我说后边十五秒还有十五秒你可别了你别的还是正常投吧嗯可以走吧完事四秒五 Welcome okay. back. You are watching live coverage of the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship 2021. We are in the eighth end of a all-Asian battle between Japan and China. A lot of great shots in that last end, Mike, but a fantastic shot by Zhou Shengyan on his last one. Yeah, they needed that one. It looked like they could have been facing two or three stones from Team Japan, so this is... Uh, Tight battle and classic situation. Japan one down with the hammer with uh, three ends to play. Two hammers to one. So in effect, they're they're tied in terms of ability to score. So China would love to hold Japan to one or, or even a blank here would be a good result for China. We saw the percentages of the leads battling it out. Only 3% difference between the two. Both curling very, very well for their respective teams. Mike's saying the pivotal eighth end here of our game in a very, very tight battle. Right. Right. Two okay. great shots there. Yeah, good start for China. Good start for Japan. They're throwing the corner guard. Abe looking for the freeze or freeze tap. Just by and gets Good. to the nose. Good stuff. 
And final score over on sheet D, it is an 8-3 victory, United States over Denmark in session 20 here at the World Championship. Nice win for Team USA. That'll get them into the playoff picture. They've got two games left to play. They have Netherlands and Korea on the agenda. And Denmark still has to play Italy tomorrow. So game on here. I was just going to say, lots, <laughs> lots of rocks in play to start this eighth end. I assume Yasumasa Tanita with his first stone. Well, normally, Melissa, in a, we'd say in, a, in an arena setting, when you're the last game on the ice in a round robin portion, the ice tends to change, but with <laughs> no crowds, and it's been a, been a, a quiet week, to say the least, from a, from that perspective. Uh, I expect the ice conditions will just stay the same in here, and uh, I'll focus now on our one and only matchup. There's a, another good numbers from Tanita here, 93 through seven ends, amazing. And really out, out curling his opponent right now, Wang Shiyu. Winning the positional battle of the seconds. Trying to do a little bounce off this center guard. Not quite happening, but you might see uh, Japan rattle around those guards now. Got to be careful to not lose all the guards. You can see Matsumira just having a look at his yellow guard on the right-hand side as we look at it, making sure that this red one doesn't affect it. Did move it out of the way, but he rolled for two corners, so not bad, actually. And there's two ways at that red stone. So China's got to be careful. If you guard it perfectly. The yellow-red combination can be made. If you guard the yellow, they can actually make the double on the two reds, if you look at it there. So I kind of like the red-yellow hitting the red first. Hard to make a good guard up yeah, the middle here. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. It, it might be time to make a play. <laughs> Which turn looks better? Going to try and throw the perfect guard. See, I'm not sure what that is. Whether it's, <laughs> you know, do you guard your own? Do you guard the yellow? Do you guard, try to guard half of each? I'm not sure what the best result is here. Yeah, Japan will have some options after this. This is uh, coming very tight to the rings. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? Um, if he hits that red onto yellow, yeah, I think if he hits it on the right hand side, does it ever catch the redstone top eight or is it too close? It might, yeah, the might uh, drag into it. That's that drag theory we were talking about a little earlier in the game. The rocks are close enough now when you hit the top stone. The back stone would go the same direction as the one you're making contact with. So the yellow should come to the right a little. How much of that red they'll catch is uh, the one that, that's at the top eight foot is a, is a bit of a question. I'm gonna throw it quietly though, that's a good idea. Yeah, and if they get to the nose or just off nose, they'll go yellow onto yellow onto red. That's the other option. That's also good. Right. It's got a long way to go. 
Watch the back yellow. Actually missed that red, but uh, because of the weight, it's still looking pretty good. There's the numbers for third position. Tian Feng at 79. Shimizu Tetsura Shimizu at 88. Uh, uh, that shooter did stay in the ring, so we decided to 12 with the quiet weight. So I know it's uh, hard to imagine that it might count, but if China starts throwing any weight here and starting to lose a bunch of rocks in the rings, those two reds at the top of the house could be doubled out as well. My first instinct was to hit the one on the bottom wall there. That's that was my first thought. Call a timeout. See what uh, Soren Gran has to say. Speak the curling language to Soren and to the guys, so he's a big asset to this team. Um, what is your discussion? Yeah, yeah, but I, I want you to play a bit weight here. You don't wait for too much curl because it's better you roll here than your nose hit. Yeah, so you can play like in nine seconds or something like that for that roll. Yeah. So you don't need to go close to that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah. Okay. Behind the red, the two red is your perfect spot. Okay, but play a little bit weight. So we heard the conversation there, Mike, with their coach, and I think everyone agrees on what the call is—a hit and roll to the to the other side of the button. But Soren wants them to play some weight, a nine. Why is that? Well, with the. Amount of curl on the ice, they'd have to get uh, the broom outside the stone, and it's not the. I mean, there is a port there, not the biggest port, but the, obviously the more weight you throw, the straighter it will go. So it simplifies the line call a little bit. Even though with the more weight, it's harder to stay. So this is wide and not. Hard. Yes. Hard. 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 Go. Go. Okay. Was uh, maybe overthrown a hair. Okay. <laughs> Just gets by that corner guard, Mike, not by much. Rolls to the outside. Freeze is being called here. And uh, the challenge with the freeze right now is that the red, red, yellow combination up the middle now sends the yellow right between the reds and would block up the center. Have a look at that red, red, yellow. Yes, 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 yes. Pretty good shot. Be interesting to see what China elects to play. But again, with the lead here, if they can hit that red on the nose at the top 12, and roll the shooter maybe and just stay near the center line. You're looking at it. Just hit it near the nose, kill that yellow, and have two rocks up front. As you say, you can really control the, the control zone, right? That was a great freeze. Was a great freeze. There's still a bit of work to do, though, for, for both teams here. Lots to be decided yet. 
don't like that only because you could end up leaving yellow on second and third and throwing. And if you ever roll off, you create a double. Right. Potentially. Okay. How about throwing a guard? Yeah. If you don't, if, you know, if you don't like the, the run, just throw throw one right in the middle of the port there. I don't see a real big upside to playing this shot with any weight. So, Mike, I'm watching the seconds tick away at the back there. You had mentioned earlier that it's approximately four minutes an end. And both teams have two full ends left, and they have under eight minutes, right. soon to be under seven. A so little, little bit of work to do for both. Of work. And it's a tight game. Usually if a game's a blow, then you know the decision making is easy. Exactly. So a little scary for both teams. Well, this is, this is just a high pressure shot. I'm not sure what a good result is here. What's not good is wrecking on the corner guard. Oh, got by. Or that. That's not good. Okay. It's not good. Still but tricky to get rid of that red one, though. That's <laughs> Japan's got a bit of work to do to get uh, uh, shot stone okay. here. Uh, they could easily hit half their yellow and get shot stone, of course. But uh, shooter's going to be gone. And we'll call a timeout, see what Bob has to say. Yellow is shot stone, actually. So the um, question is, how do they score more than one? Tight scoring area. Very. You can't really access that red one right now. It's the eighth end. You could throw one. <laughs> I was going to say, throw one half guarding that red. Looking at tapping their own rock on the button, three or four inches, creating a pocket, which is a very delicate shot. And then they also looked, I think, at the red, red, yeah. yellow tap, perhaps, too, maybe? Well, it's lined up nicely for China with takeout weight, but so that means also with quiet weight it would be fine. Timeout is over. So Bob Ursel heading back to the bench here. And I think that's what they're going to do, Mike. I think that's probably the safest, because you know China is going to hit that red stone right on the nose with some weight and likely be able to spin the, certainly one of the yellows out of the play. Ideally, I think if I was uh, Matsumura, I'd want to tap that on the center line side and roll the shooter in into the middle there, the, the mm -hmm. hole that's open. Agree. So looking at to tap, double tap on the red to tap the yellow. Agree with Mike, it should you really want to get to the center line side. Okay. That's, uh, I think that's pretty good. You know, you see that uh, lined up there. I mean, really depends if that uh, yellow stone at the top button would spin out of the forefoot, but it's really hard to get at. It is. I think that was a really good shot. It's problem for China is they can't see that uh, red stone on the center line. I don't think you can see the whole thing. See most of it, but that's not enough. From our view, maybe edge to edge. So the edge of the red to the edge of the yellow. And it looks like the yellow on top button would spin. Definitely spin to the right. Yeah. So close. 
between the two skips here, 73-75. Yeah, they both made uh, some nice shots, but also missed a couple of easy ones also. But, uh, this is a big one. This is missed. It would be a chance for three for Japan. Doing a good job keeping that straight. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Decent result. That was hard to uh, do much better. Excellent shot by Matsumura to set up the two. Couldn't afford to tick the guard. <laughs> they, they overswept it just a, a fraction maybe to get enough action, but safety I first. I think that's a pretty good result. As you said, you don't want to tick the guard, so Zhou Xiang they called it early, tried to keep it straight early. Didn't get by the guard by much, really. Best he could do. So opportunity here now for Japan to draw to the forefoot, need full four. Try and get two on the board here. The score two back in the third end. And going for line here. Yes. That's fine. Fabulous shot. So that is two, a very important two, on the board for Japan after eight ends of play. It is Japan five, China four, after eight. around the center. You created a good chance now. So. Okay. It has been back and forth between China and Japan. It's been a while since a team has scored a deuce back in the third end, the only other, the only other deuce actually. And Japan now putting a deuce, a very important deuce, in the eighth end on the board, Mike. What does China need to do now? Well, depending on your <laughs> on your preference, uh, you'd try to get two here in nine or a blank. There's two or more or a blank. And, um, you know, conversely, if you're Japan, you really would love to force China into scoring one and be tied coming home with the hammer. You know, there's a lot of emphasis put on the hammer coming home. You know, being one down with the hammer is kind of that preferred uh, method in theory. But in fact, the team up wins about 60 to 65% of the time. So, yes, it's nice to have the hammer going home. But if you have the opportunity, 
to be one up. You're you're gonna win the game more often than you than you won't if you're uh, if you're one down with. So um, you know I'm a, I'm a believer of trying to play the percentages late in the game, and if, if Japan gives you an opportunity to score two, then you take it. But uh, looking like it's going to be hit 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 here in end number nine with this strategy you may see China just go up and run the corner guard in and try to make the double and really get the hammer going in in the uh, tent but they would have had a conversation at the break to decide what they want to do you know if they were really intent on blanking they would try some sort of Slash here well, on this see, one, well, but well, see, yep. well, well, should they do it on the well, next well, one? Well, they wouldn't be allowed well, on this one, would they? Five rock roll. Well, <laughs> I knew you'd catch up, though. <laughs> <laughs> Not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but uh, the funny thing, interesting thing with uh, Team China, twice this yeah. week they've actually played the hit on the guard when they when they weren't supposed to, or weren't allowed to, and one of the games it actually yeah. didn't get noticed by either team, and they just continued to play. Wow. And in the, uh, the second instance when it happened, they replaced the guard and, and China ended up giving up three. They didn't have the hammer in that case. And yeah, so <laughs> it, it does happen where you uh, forget what's going on out there. But this looks uh, very much like a blank in the works here. And number nine. Well, uh, yeah, very yeah. content, oh, as you yeah. say, Mike, okay, okay, trying to okay, potentially okay. blank. Japan okay with that as well. Well, you know, if this continues all the way to skip stones, <laughs> you know, if you're Matsumura, do you go around the middle on your last with the yellow being a yellow uh, Japanese guard? They could just draw around and, and uh, uh, well, well, if they wanted the hammer okay. coming home. Okay. I'll let you know in a couple of rocks. Right. <laughs> well, if somebody rolls out, it won't matter, right? Or, 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 uh, or a double is made. Both teams said they were a little tight for time, but this uh, this end will be fine now. They're still uh, both about five, between five and six minutes left. So this will simplify their life coming home, certainly. Not even trying to roll buried. <laughs> the sweepers just walking away. <laughs> they could have swept that and got it an inch buried. Would have been nice, but uh, I think Japan might give this a go though. Just if sure. they happen to get the hit and roll behind. Absolutely. Why not? Why not is right. <laughs> If you were China there and you roll at one inch buried, there's no way that uh, Japan could make the roll. So I think uh, you need to be careful not to be too careless here in the ninth end. You spoke about that earlier. You know, these are, these are easy shots, but uh, you know, a roll out changes the momentum entirely. This has got to go quite a bit. It really does. Stay. And there's a, there it is. That's the miss that uh, you just can't afford now. No. Matsumura goes around the middle, and now you have to make a run back and split it out of there. It's, that's a careless error. on skip stones no less so a lot of pressure now on China if this shot is made even if this goes way to the back eight foot and is buried is fine for Japan we won't get a clock on this before they touched up the rocks we were getting you know high 14s 14.7 14.8 it was a little slower with the amount of movement 14.2 14.3 to T-line it's back up there now, Mike. We saw a couple of 14, 6, 7s make it no problem. There's 14, 5 with no sweeping. That's going to be right to the top of the forefoot. Perfect. Lovely shot. 
Open an inch on the intern side? I think so. Look, we're all way to go. Enough that Team China wants to take it on. So to tap that out of the rings and save your shooter is extremely difficult. So that is the requirement here. If they want the blank. Would you ever play the run? Yeah, potentially. They like this though. They've seen this a number of times. Okay. Yep. Oh, wait, looks really good. He's close. What a shot. Well, oh, okay, not okay. to get it out. Okay. What a okay. shot. He made that look easier than it was. <laughs> Did he ever? Fantastic. Great sweeping as well. Got by the guard, just curled at the very end. Amazing. Perfect weight. Nice shot. They're mulling over the draw, I think. <laughs> I think going back to our discussion, Mike, based on the percentages that you've already mentioned, you don't want to give up. You don't really want to give up two here. No, I mean, the best is a force to, to one, so... Um, the stats don't lie, do they? They don't. <laughs> Matsumira yeah. really trying to... And how many places can you throw this where there's no shot for two or no blank available? This looks warm. Well, it's going to be it's going to be okay, but it's uh, okay. you missed the guard by a couple of feet, I think. So could throw certainly throw the out turn tap, move that like six or eight inches. It doesn't need to move it very far. See Okay. Need one good one on us first. You'll need a good one here to score two. Clean is always good. Trying to make a curl now. They need to go. And it looks pretty good. What a great shot by Team China. That's two on the board. Their first two of this game. And they will take a one point lead heading into the 10th end. Japan will come back in the 10th with Hammer.
Welcome back. You are watching live coverage of the BKT Tires and OK Tire World Men's Curling Championship 2021 from Wind Sport Arena at Canada Olympic Park in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. We are watching two teams battle it out here, China and Japan, back and forth, back and forth, Mike. <sighs> Nine, it was a weird ninth end. I don't I even know to what say. to say about the ninth end. It was a weird ninth end. Looked like there was going to be a blank the whole way until China hits and rolls out on thirds last, and all of a sudden, uh, you know, Japan went around the middle, which is fine. And then uh, them ignoring the open Chinese zone and trying to figure out a way to to get the force was was un uh, an unusual decision. Clearly, Matsumura were comfortable with the hammer coming home, um, but you know, we talked about the stats in that. When you are down one with the hammer against a world-class team, you only win between 35 and 38% of the time. So it's an uh, unusual choice. We'll see how it plays out. China's going to go all in here with the double center guard. See if they can figure out a way to win it here in 10 or, or hold Japan to one and uh, win it in the extra. Whoa, no. This one looks like it's going to slide into the rings just. I was going to say Japan won't hit that, but okay. they're hitting it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, down one again, there's, uh, you need you need rocks in play. It's the five rock rule. You could throw a corner guard and uh, mix it up even yes. more. Yes. Yes. Yeah, they've got one corner that's yes. so tight to the rings, it's yes. not it's hard to use. Hard to use, absolutely. Yes. So, yes. so yes. now yes. they're going to hit yes. and roll away. Yes. And if this one rolls in, I will assume well, China, has China to is going to hit it. They have to. I've been wrong about 80% of the I time was today, say. though. So. <laughs> okay. I'm not trusting you, Mike. No, uh, no, Chabelle. I wouldn't trust okay. me at this point. <laughs> I'm with you. Trying to trying to hit and roll back towards the center. Again, just making the easy ones. Make sure you stay. Yeah, and that yeah. is key. And the same thing applies to Japan on theirs. Just make sure you stay if you're going to play hit. Make sure you hit the rings if you're playing a draw. And so he's going to roll right out. Right, so there's the rollout. So now a chance to use that tight corner. The center guard's almost too high for Japan to do anything with it. That's why I you know, didn't love that hit on uh, Shinyabe's second stone. China can chase. We saw, well, we saw last time how tight that yellow guard was. And Zhou Xiang was easily able to get out of stone. It was almost completely buried. So uh, this guard's even higher. So it's been really difficult to, to bury behind that one. That's a good start, though. That uh, that looks pretty well buried. Nice shot. Uh, so China looks like they're going to follow them down and corner freeze. So ultimately, by playing this shot, Mike is trying to say, we'll force you to one and go into the extra. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they could, they could play the run back, could do, could throw another center. There's lots of options. This, this looks light. So there's going to be some work to do here now for, for China. Japan, don't leave a double now. You've got the one buried. That that's going to take at least two shots to get that stone out of play. That's been in the rings for China. So just make sure you don't leave a double. Also, a tip when you're down and trying to score points, don't peel guards. 
Yeah, guards are usually your friends, I would think. So, I mean, if I was China, I'd double peel the guards, try to roll both reds into play here, but uh, they're not doing that either, so I'm not going to say yeah, anything we'll more out. strategically the rest of the game, Melissa. We're, we'll, 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 let, we'll let this play out as it goes. Sounds good to me. But uh, would you not play the double peel and spin both reds into Absolutely. the rings? Absolutely. Yeah, they were. It's, it's perfectly set up to do that. And then you take advantage away from Japan, but Japan just went up and peeled the center guard that they kind of <laughs> needed. I think they need it. Maybe they knew that uh, China would play the freeze. So if China were ever to miss the shot or it goes through or whatever happens, Japan can actually just draw to the open side and set up their deuce that way. Correct. But this is looking pretty good. I think he's going to have a great shot here. Okay. Excellent. Really good. Really good. Dead buried. In front of the T line. Behind a staggered guard. Tetsuro Shimizu. Trying to follow that tiny stone down and put it on. Just on the edge. Line's pretty good here, Mike. Don't want to bounce off too much. Heck of a shot. Really good. It's a great shot by Japan. That shot you suggested earlier is still available. They could double peel and roll both the reds into the rings. Expose that. Both yellows, really. Or you can try and run it. I'm not sure you can get... I, I think the yellow one's in the way, though. It's there. It's doable. It's doable. Both teams have used their one-minute timeout. This one. Is it red or red? Red. That'd be close. What a shot. Beautiful. Excellent. Great shot. I see this throw and a really nice call. Beauty. Line two. Fabulous shot. But Japan trying to find a place to hide over here. I'm not sure if he's playing the corner freeze or if he's actually trying to come around those. Right, I think uh, ideally you try the corner freeze to the back one, but that's extremely difficult with that run back being made. Down to skip stones here. If this is not shot stone, you could see China just split the rings. And Another great what shot. What a great I shot. See. Another fantastic shot. <laughs> nice sweep is right. Now, do you go red, yellow, red, yellow, or do you try to hit this thick enough? Watch the... Uh, they have to just get by the stone at the top of the eight foot. That is not easy to do. <laughs> they liked it. You could not have walked down and placed that any better. No, that was amazing. So China, what do you do if you're China here? Do you try and, as you said, red, yellow? They're trying to see if the guards are lined up where they could hit half and maybe make contact. The other option is if you could throw peel at the yellow mm -hmm. and hit it as thick as you can, you probably could spin it out at the eight foot, but you ever clip your own, Japan just splits the rings and they're going to have a chance to win this game, so. Right. That is just, we've seen a... Despite the guard situation and everything else, the last four rocks at this end have been amazing. Great shots by both teams. That is, you cannot see much of that yellow. Definitely going to hit your red, obviously, and they're yeah. hoping it's just going to keep spinning out of the rings. So it's going to be a lot of speed here by Zosha Yang. You 
got to throw speed to try and get some action on that yellow stone after it hits the other red. And try and spin it out of the rings. It's got to curl a little. It's got to curl. No. Just hit it too thin. Right. And now Japan has to try to figure out a where, where to put this where there's no double. So pressure on the sweepers on this one to get it near the T-line on the other side of the sheet. But uh, what a wonderful shot by Shimizu to set up a potential two here. So the key to this shot is just having it stop on the T-line left of the forefoot as we're looking at it somewhere and uh, there would be no double available for China. As you said, Mike, just as a thrower, you throw it close, and it's all about the brushers putting it in the right spot. Again, looking for that kind of 14 half, 14 7 even. Not laid much of a broom to it. Oh, it's good. Right on the T line. All about them. Put it on the T line. Yes! 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 I think it's deep enough. <laughs> <laughs> Just got there. That stops about three inches higher. I think there's a double available. Sweeper's not really looking at it, and then uh, there'll be a late panic here. Yes! 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 Just deep enough. Just is right. Great brush. So uh, this is a very difficult so shot to, to get game. shot stone and not leave up, leave uh, Japan a shot for two. To, to get shot stone, you have to key this to the center line side, but that might leave a nose hit for two. And if it over curls a bit, we'll leave a draw for two. So tough shot here for, for Zo. Final stone here for Team China. Okay. Tenth yeah, end. Okay. Up start. one without hammer. No. No. Team no. Japan no. currently no. lying no. to. No. Got to put this in an absolutely perfect no. position and force Japan to a difficult shot on their last. Lines in the ballpark. It is. No. And so is the weight. No. 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 That's as good as they could do for line Fantastic. getting the shot, but uh, you say a simple nose hit for two though for for Japan. Couldn't have done much more. Yeah, it, it was the best he could do. Great shot. Either they hit it on the nose and get shot zone, or they hit it on the high side and miss their own at the back. So, pretty simple shot to win with uh, option. <laughs> mathematical <laughs> opportunity for the playoffs here for, for Japan on the line. Tighten up the ice. Looks like he's going to throw some weight at this. Here we go, final stone, 10th in. This is for the win. And there it is, two on the board for Team Japan, and they take the win over Team China. 7-6. What a great game battle back and forth. There's the final, 7-6 Japan over China.
This is the last dome for Team China in the seventh end. Four. All Whoa. Japan this end Five. until this shot by China and Four. hits and grows in for his single point. Four. What a shot. Whoa. In the eighth end, Team Japan with the hammer. Just trying to find that skinny port. Has to get to the forefoot for his second point. Makes no mistake, and he puts two on the board. Great shot. And here we go in the 10th. China is up one. Without last rock, this is a shot for two and the victory. Matsumura throwing the hit and stick. Get rid of the red stone. Sticks a shooter and gets two and the win. 7-6, Japan over China here in session 20. A great win for Team Japan. And there's your final scores of this session. Again, Japan over China, 7-6. RCF defeating Scotland handily, 9-2. And United States, 8-3 over Team Denmark. And now we look at the standings. We know RCF and Sweden have both qualified. United States alone at eight and three. Scotland, eight and four. Canada, Norway, seven and four. They play each other tonight. Switzerland, six and five. A couple teams at six and six, just hanging in there. Italy, five and six. Germany, four and seven. And then the rest of the teams, Denmark, Korea, Netherlands, and China rounding it off at two and 10. Yuda, that's a good day. Two big wins and uh, congratulations. What was the the strategy in the last end there, trying to get two points? I don't know. Actually, we are sure not, we're not sure about it, but uh, uh, at least uh, we could take one in that end so we peel the set off well whatever it worked it worked so you got the win which is good news uh playoff hope still alive mathematically you have a chance uh, what uh, what are your thoughts with your team's performance all week uh, it's going really uh, it's getting really better so and uh, the momentum is going up. So uh, playing world champion is very interesting. Well, it's been a good week so far. One more game. Good luck tomorrow, and uh, we wish you well. Thank you. And that concludes session 20 here at the Windsport Arena at the World Men's Curling Championships. On behalf of Mike Harris, I'm Melissa Saligo. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Oh,